Hello Libra. Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your reading for November 2020. This is a love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We're going to start off with, you know what we're going to start off with? I forgot. Let's do a couple of these oracle cards first before we start. Angels, divine spirits, and guides, show me messages for my Libra friends, please. What does Libra need to know in their love life? November 2020. Show them the messages they need to see. Libra. Okay. I don't know why. These, these cards are always so slow to come out. Show me Libra. Which is why I do my shuffling before I start the reading. But eh, I like to do my shuffling on camera. I just... It just makes me feel better it's for you to know that you know, I didn't cheat. <laughs> All right. Show me Libra, please. We'll take that one. Libra. Love. November. What do they need to know? Angels. All right. Okay, okay, and okay, perfect. Bottom of the deck we have projected future days, weeks, or months. So this is something that may happen in the future. You're on the right road, on the road to recovery, on the road to changes, maybe a long road. Pretending, fake, living beyond means, all right magnetic unexplainable pull can't resist pop up uh-oh spontaneous unexpected surprise visit someone's coming to see you focused eyes for you fascinated watching somebody likes you they have an unexplainable pull they have eyes for you they want to come and visit you. What's with the pretending? This is probably going to happen in the future. Maybe this person was fake in the past, or maybe they were pretending that it didn't bother them, that you, I don't know, broke up or stopped speaking, or I don't know. Let's see what we get from the tarot. All right, we're ready. Angels, messages for Libra, please, for November 2020 in love. Show me Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, if I did not say that. Libra, please. Justice. All right. That's you. Show me Libra. You want justice for something? Looks like you're getting it. The tower was in the past. Nice. Shocking justice? Wow. All right. Show me Libra. So you did have some type of explosion or something with someone. And block them with the Seven of Wands. Okay. Show me, Libra, standing your ground. Now, uh, this is going to be one of those. You can't treat me like that. You can't disrespect me. Knight of Swords coming in quick, huh? You definitely have an unexpected visitor here. Show me, Libra, please. Funny, because Virgo had that. Nine of Wands. Libra, what is their role or attitude on this situation? Queen of Pentacles, what is the role or attitude of others in this situation? Confusion, 
And the hopes or fears and the final outcome. Show me Libra, the final outcome. What do they need to know? Libra. I'm very cautious. There it is. Queen of Wands. Three ladies, huh? Okay. Bottom of the deck. Page of Wands. Good news. The Hermit. Temperance. Hmm. Are you getting impatient? You had an argument with somebody here, huh? The Devil. All right. Let me just... Do that. Oh, what was under there? Oh, temperance. That's right. <laughs> How did I forget that fast? I just like to see those. And there's that Virgo card. Okay. You may have Virgo in your chart. Let's put the three ladies. We got some kind of group here. So overall, you look good. Under projected, we have punish, payback, revenge. Okay. Retaliation. Alrighty. Let me check my camera. Yeah, I know you can't see all of them that are over here. I'll actually put that one up there because I don't need that space right now. So I feel like someone owes you an apology. And I feel like you're waiting for it. And I feel like you're tired of waiting for it. But I mean, we got ghosted, blocked, and cut off with a tower. Wow. You definitely stood up for yourself here. I feel like you, someone may have lied or butted in where they don't belong or took something from you that was rightfully yours. Because the star card in reverse, sign of Aquarius is your challenge position which tells me that you didn't get what you want, but it also tells me that you're losing hope and losing faith in a situation that this person is going to step forward. I am going to tell you that right now, they don't have the confidence to approach you, no confidence to approach you and talk to you. They're being very quiet, hermit. I had a very similar reading in Gemini, so I don't know if you have any Gemini in your chart, or I notice a lot that the air signs all seem to be going through the same thing. Probably going to end up pulling the same message for Aquarius. But anyway, I feel like this person hurt your feelings or I also feel like they're jealous of you. But there's this magnetic pull, unexplainable pull, can't resist. This spontaneous, unexpected surprise visit. Knight of Swords, in this particular deck, I always notice that he's on the edge of the cliff and he's not moving, not in traditional tarot where the Knight of Swords is like rushing in. He's about to jump off of this cliff, like take a risk or take a leap of faith to communicate with you. But it's like they don't know how you're going to react. And I said this in Gemini, and I'm going to say it again. If, you, if any of this is resonating with you and you want to fix this situation, I feel like if you did make the right move or make the first move with the Knight of Swords being here, I feel like you would win and get justice and get your apology or get good news or get whatever it is that you want. But we obviously have two, maybe even three people who are not speaking right now because of some type of a tower moment. I feel like they are coming. <laughs> and I feel like this revenge is very similar to the justice card. 
I mean, seven of wands, okay? So you had to stand up for yourself. You had to tell someone that they cannot treat you this way. That's unfair. You're a Libra. You're all about justice. This is, you're not doing the right thing. You lied. You did whatever you did. You butted in where you didn't belong. You stole something from me. I didn't get what I wanted. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to do my thing. And look at you. You're the queen of pentacles right now. You're doing fine. You're stable, grounded, secure. You don't need this person in your life. But I'm getting a sense of impatience on your part. I'm also getting this person, they did something impulsive, like they did not think before they took action. And it's really bothering them. If you are dealing with a Sagittarius, because I got the Temperance card, I got the Nine of Wands, and then I got the Queen of Wands here, I just want to say that Sagittarius, I have a lot of Sagittarius friends and I'm not dissing any sign, but sometimes they just take action, you know, because they get excited or they follow their passion and then they just jump right in there and then they don't realize that maybe they hurt someone or, or didn't do the right thing. I definitely feel like something is fixable here. Now it may be during Sagittarius season that you're going to hear from this person because I this is also confusion ace of swords not speaking not speaking and confusion about having a conversation and approaching you because of something that they did obviously but they have this unexplainable pull that they can't resist so they're trying to get the confidence up to come talk to you I mean and I feel like they're coming <laughs> be prepared I don't know uh, Knight of Swords and the Tower together to me is an unexpected run-in. So you might end up seeing this person at, uh, you know, at a restaurant or a store or something like that. Uh, a park in traffic. <laughs> Show me Libra, please. Show me Libra. Additional messages for Libra. Girl with a snake. There she is. Empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used. Enable boundaries. You stood your ground. You set boundaries for this person. You said you're a narcissist and you can't treat me that way. And that's the end of that. Boom. This person's life was blown away when you walked out. Seduction. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. But that's also my temptation card because I feel like they're tempted to talk to you again with this. Interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, hovering. You are emotionally exhausted from dealing with this person. They completely, it, there's force here. Because Knight of Swords and Ace of Swords in reverse is force. Like, you made me, you, you did something that was so wrong that I have no other choice but to walk away from you and cut you out of my life. That's how hurt I am. Heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. Whatever this is. It's getting fixed, whether you want it or not. I know everybody doesn't want to hear that, but show me Libra, please. For I feel like this is a friend or a family member. I want to point that out with the three female energies. Show me Libra. I'm not really seeing work, so I mean, it could be, it could be anything. Show me messages for Libra, please. Oh, I just said, I'm not really seeing work. Okay, well, maybe this is work for someone. Finances and career popping right out of the deck. Show me Libra. You want justice. You're getting justice. Again, with the justice. This could be the one... You've already met the romantic partner you seek. It just needs to be repaired. And finally, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. That's exactly what you did. 
You were respecting yourself by walking away from a situation and letting that tower drop. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. This person might even be praying that you're going to approach them. I feel like you're not doing it. You're not even looking over there. You're just focused on your coin. You're looking over here. All right. Well, I'm going to leave that portion of the reading there. I am going to pull you an oracle card from the Enchanted Map Oracle deck. This is a new deck to me. I did read the book, but, um, the, you know, it's hard to absorb all of the meanings. So I'm going to read this from the book. I know a lot of people don't like that. That's why I save it for the end. Can we have an Oracle message for Libra, please? Okay. I'll take that one right there. Compass. Let's see what it says. Might be something about time. Card 50. If you are leaving me at this point, thank you so much for watching and good luck with your situation. If you are still here, all right. As long as you orient your compass to the true north, the direction of your higher power, you will never be lost. You are entering uncharted territories right now and can expect wonderful new experiences. To stay on the highest path of your destiny, you'll need to keep your compass pointed to true north. Only spirit or a higher power can serve this function. Money, property, prestige, romance, and other material achievements can't help you find your true path. They are simply things you may experience along your journey. Know that spirit is working in your life, so even if you feel lost temporarily, it will be easy to find your way. Have faith and trust, for your compass with spirit as true north will ensure that you'll never be lost, even on a starless night when all seems dark. So basically, just let the divine handle this. Um, maybe you shouldn't take any action. That's kind of what I'm getting from that. Just... Stay focused on yourself and your direction um, in the reversed position. I think it actually did come out reversed, but I don't read Oracle cards in the reverse ever. But there is a reversal for this. What is your higher power right now? Whatever you constantly focus on long enough becomes your higher power. If you worry about financial insecurity, materialism is your idol. If you obsess over a relationship, then that is your God. If you're concerned about your weight or your looks or your status, you've lost your personal power and your way. Nothing but spirit can be your guiding force. You'll never truly find what you seek if these worries and distractions are your constant focus. So there's something that you need to stop paying attention to here. Just focus on your coins, focus on yourself. Don't worry about getting revenge or getting justice or whatever it is right now. Just do your thing. Um, surrender and shift your compass. Be still and watch as the needle points to true north. Align yourself and you'll easily find your way back to where you're meant to be. Okay, I am going to leave that there, Libra. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation and I will see you soon.